Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. I uh, had a session yesterday that I haven't stopped thinking about because I thought this could be a good video. Um, and it came out of, you know, I was working with a client and so much great progress. And so I was trying to like, hone in on what, so what's going on now? Right? Where do we go from here kind of a thing? And it came up that one of his, his fear or his remaining issue is the fear of falling back, right? He's doing, he's up here, he's doing great. He doesn't want to go, ooh. Kind of reminds me of like shoots and ladders when you, you know that game? You get the long shoot just when you're that close to being back, ooh, and you go, and it's like all over again. So it got, it got me thinking ab about it. And so I wanted to share because it's important. So you don't fall back either, right? So this is the here. This is the here now place. And hopefully that's a pretty sweet spot for you. If not, that we got to work on that. But hopefully that's a sweet spot. And for the sake of this client and maybe you, and that that sweet spot is about that long. It could be longer this big right and in there could be lots of subtle nuances of um, I, maybe you, you you could feel something happening but you have so much healthy on board you have so many tools that you can you can adjust and it's kind of like my little slinky hold on let me get my slinky I love my slinky for this you know you, you're kind of here doing this nice sweet spot of your life and then you notice, ooh, and you go, ah, oh, yeah, 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 and I'm right back here. And you go a little too, ooh, let me write that. And that's the sweet spot, right? That is like, we can just hopefully live at peace and calmness. And in that place, we have awareness. And it's such a great place to be. You know, all that stuff I talk about, the window of tolerance, um, if we're applying it to polyvagal theory, it's you know the ventral state of being. If um, uh, what, oh, if I'm looking at the wise adult self, it's that part is on board and paying attention, really witnessing life. Right. So you know an example that I may use is like with food. You know I'm I'm here and I've been doing pretty well for years now. You know and I notice the subtle you know. Oops, this was a fun week, <laughs> which usually means I ate some of my favorite foods and maybe I drank a little more. How do I get that, that balance point back, right? And so lots of little subtle nuances of ups and downs. And so important that you pay attention to this because if this is the falling down direction, you know, if we are here, whoop, let me change colors. If we are from here, you know, at some point, starting to go down, we can maintain still that, oh, I kind of went below the sweet spot. We'll just do it to here. We can sort of stay in that zone. We kind of come down, but we have all the tools to go back up. And that's just, that's, that's the living dynamic balance of life, right? But sometimes there's another step. Sorry, I was looking for my purple marker. I have a thing about green markers. I don't know what it is. But anyway, if we are not paying full attention, we start to go into this phase towards falling back. In this phase, we now have minimal awareness. And this is the phase of rationalizations. How many rationalizations can we have? Rational, rationalizations, yeah. How many rationalizations can we have about what we're doing here? So if we're gonna use food as a, I think, uh, an example that so many people can identify with. So if we're eating, and I'm here in my sweet spot, and I, I'm like, oops, you know what? I eat carbs, I don't usually eat carbs. Let me slow down for a couple days, make sure I'm working out, make sure I'm walking a little longer. I can stay there. And then, you know, I start heading into here a little bit. And I'm right at this place. 
but it's I'm on vacation. See, I'm I'm on vacation. I'm with my family. I'm having a really good time. Why worry about that now? When I get back from vacation, I have all these other plans, and I don't want to have to be watching myself. Like we could just start. We just start coming up with reasons why, and we're not paying attention to the the tools, the resources, the behaviors that keep us in a sweet spot. And we start heading down here. And you know, can we still catch it if we're here? Eh, probably. And here, yeah, it gets harder though. You know, so like if, for example, we use I hate I don't I hate using weight as an example, but it's just easier for the sake of an example. But if I'm here and I, as I say, I put on a few pounds. All right, let me slow down, exercise, I get back up. If I'm down here and I put on 10 pounds. 15 pounds and trust me I have put on 10 or 15 pounds very fast before it's this gets harder right and I could well then I go more into rationalizations minimal awareness that's it that decreases as we get to here because when we get to here we are now in we're now in the subconscious we're not aware we have zero awareness at this point of what is happening within. And so now we're totally being like a little puppet with our wounded parts and uh, parts of the nervous system that are taken over. You know, if you see my little diagram with all the wounded parts, they're running the show here. And there's very little wise adult on board. We're way out of our window of tolerance. Um, and from here, you can see that the drop maybe starts like this, but then it starts going like this. And it's a much harder re place to return from, right? And so the, the key, hopefully, what you're hearing is we want to keep expanding this. And like I said, I just drew it for a year because my, only, my board is only so long. But your sweet spot can be, like, huge. And I hope it's huge. So lots of room. Woo, right? Versus you're here and you're going down. So work on expanding the sweet spot, right? That is that is so important. What are the behaviors, the tools, the resources that you're paying attention to that you can keep adding into your life? Or noticing, yeah, I had a great weekend. It was fun. It was fun eating pizza, drinking wine. Yeah, let me go, but I got to get that cleaned up so I don't go, keep going down. So and because with this, there's a relationship with this, and I've talked about the, my, uh, the term, the neuroemotional threshold, is that when we're not paying attention, from an, from an energy standpoint, you know, not from a falling back standpoint, but from an energy standpoint, we start going up in energy. So I'll draw that in black. So we start here and here, we can bounce along, but as we stop paying attention, we start going up. We might come down, but we never get back down to that baseline. And then we go back up, and again, we may come back down a little bit, but again, not even to that baseline. And eventually, the energy keeps going up and up and up, which takes us further and further down. I know, it's like ups and downs, and what the heck am I talking about? But the neuroemotional threshold, that part in the sweet spot, that window of tolerance I talked about, this is the neuroemotional threshold here. As this energy goes up, as this behavior and brings us down, that neuroemotional threshold gets lower and lower. And so it becomes easier and easier to go down this slope, right? And it makes it much easier to go down into more subconscious. And the reality is, is that when you're really, when that NET is really low, you have zero awareness that you're being totally in. You're in a reactive mode. You're hot. You're either closing down. You're ready to flee, flight, whatever. There's all of these different reactions going on. Here is the creation. This is the where the possibility possibility is, and that's what I want for you guys. If you have trouble finding your, that sweet spot, if you don't know what to do with it, if it needs to be longer, you don't know how to make it longer. It never needs to be shorter, guys. Uh, give me a buzz. Let's talk about it. All right? Look forward to hearing from you and seeing you real soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.